Hi, I'm Shiv Aglani. Thanks for checking out our Raise the Line interview series in which me and my co-host, Osmosis Chief Medical Officer, Dr. Rishi Desai, explore how to strengthen our healthcare system with some amazing leaders in medicine, technology, education, and government. And they have some great advice for people starting careers in healthcare as well. I hope you'll watch these highlights and then go listen to the full podcast interview wherever you get your podcasts. Hi, I'm Shiv Gulani, and today on Raise the Line, I'm happy to be joined by David Fischel, who's the CEO and Chairman of the Board for Stereotaxis, which provides robotic technologies for treating cardiac arrhythmias, among other interventional procedures. Before Stereotaxis, David had a long career as an investor and research analyst for healthcare and life science companies. So how does an investor go from uh, obviously investing and looking at uh, the healthcare uh, industry to then uh, being CEO of a, of a highly advanced robotics company? So I, I worked for, for many years prior to coming to Serio Texas as an investor of medical device companies. Um, and as an investor, we were always passive fundamental investors in companies. Uh, so we would research the universe of medical device companies out there, uh, try to find hidden gems, uh, companies that had the potential to very positively impact medicine, but were undiscovered by others. And, um, and as part of that searching, we came across Serio Texas and they had developed a highly a futuristic technology that actually worked in the real world and that had very good clinical data, but had, um, for, for business reasons, had kind of lost its way and, and was almost going out of business. And, um, and kind of, and we were intrigued by, by the technology and by the clinical data enough uh, that we decided not, we decided to, to step out of our comfort zone uh, to become actually active investors. So we invested in the company, gave it capital to pay off its debt, I gave it capital to invest in innovation and, um, and, and took board seats. And, and very shortly after that investment, I stepped in uh, also to operate the company. And, uh, and, and that, that's the transition from wearing purely the investor hat to wearing both the investor and the, the operator hat. Our audience are current and future healthcare professionals uh, at Osmosis. What advice would you give to somebody considering a career as a healthcare professional, especially given all that's happened this year with COVID and, 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 and moving forward? Medicine is intrinsically interesting. Uh, it's an intrinsically rewarding profession. So it requires a lot of uh, effort, a lot of uh, time, uh, a lot of kind of um, dedication to go into, but it's an intrinsically rewarding one. I think both because it's, uh, it's fascinating, human biology is fascinating, um, and, and because kind of uh, it's rewarding to, to treat disease. Um, uh, I think kind of coming from the, from the industry side, what I'd say is that uh, technologies only get improved due to the learning and the interaction between scientists, developers, and good physicians. If you have the kind of interest in it, it's great to kind of to be involved, to try to kind of see how, to almost put on like an investor hat. How do you think your field of medicine is going to evolve over the next 10, 15 years, right? Try to kind of uh, find the innovators that are working on those types of technologies, and then try to kind of handhold them down that path. Um, it really kind of real progress only happens when the two work together in a, in a good fashion. Thanks for watching this preview of Raise the Line. To hear the full interview, check out all of our podcasts and subscribe to the series. Please go to osmosis.org forward slash Raise the Line podcast or listen wherever you get your podcasts.